welcome to our lesson for today so last time remember we met Haman and we said that Haman was second in command to the king and because of this Haman was very proud and he was full of himself and all the other ministers and all the people whenever Haman would pass by they would bow and they would worship him except Mordecai Mordecai refused to bow and worship him and he said I am a Jew I only honor and respect God and Haman heard this and he was angry and he was upset and he was furious and he decided he is going to punish Mordecai and he was also going to punish all of the Jews and he was going to do this by telling the king that they should all be killed because they all disobey his laws and the king signed this order and now the Jewish people were going to be killed so Mordecai wrote to Esther who was a Jew and the queen and his niece and he said go before the king and plead for us now Esther was scared to do this because anyone who went before the king without permission or without being invited was going to be killed. So Esther was scared, but Mordecai told her, you are a Jew and you are going to be killed with us. But if you go before the king, maybe he will listen to you. And maybe this is the reason why you were made queen maybe you were supposed to save your own people now let's see what esther decides to do now esther was afraid she was shaking her heartbeat was fast but she had already decided that i will put my life in my hands and i will go to the king and if he is in a good mood he will hold out his golden scepter and my life will be spared and so he sent to Mordecai and he told him, tell the Jews to fast and pray as I do this. So the Jews were fasting and praying and Esther was going before the king. She was scared and she was still shaking, but she put on her royal robes and she walked and walked. Even as she was shaking, she walked to the doorway of the throne room. And when the king looked up, he saw her and he thought, she's so lovely. How did I forget her for such a long time? And the king was smiling when he stretched out his scepter. And this meant that Esther was safe. Then he called her forward and he asked her, what is your request? And Esther, who was still shaking, she stammered and, and said, um, I would like to invite you to dinner and also bring Haman. When the king heard this, he was so happy and he agreed to her request. And Haman was also very, very happy and pleased. So on that night, Esther gave both of them invitations to the dinner which was happening on the next evening. And he told them, and he told the king that when you come to dinner is when I will give you my request. So Haman went home and told his wife, even the queen requests of me, but I will not be happy as long as Mordecai is alive. And Haman's wife suggested, why don't you hang him? Haman's wife who was telling his husband, why don't you hang Mordecai? And so Haman set out and he went to ask for a request from the king to proceed with his plan. Now, that night, King Xerxes could not sleep. So he woke up and ordered his servant to read the records that had been taken. Now remember, in the last lesson, we talked about how Mordecai saved the king's life by discovering there was a plot to kill him and that it was recorded. So that was the record that the servant read to the king. And then the king asked, was Mordecai rewarded for saving my life? And the servant said, no, he was not. So now the king called for Haman. Remember, Haman was waiting to go to the king so that he could ask if he could kill Mordecai. But the king called him first. And when the king called Haman, he asked Haman, what should I do for the man that I wish to reward? And Haman, Haman thought the king wants to reward me. Haman thought he was the man who was going to be rewarded. So he was so happy and pleased. And he told the king that 
this man should be paraded taken round the city and he should be riding the king's own horse and so when the king heard of this he said good go and take mordecai not haman go and take mordecai and go show him off in the city yourself so the king was asking Haman to go and take his enemy, the one he wanted to kill, and go parade him in the city. But of course Haman was very angry, but he could not say anything because he was in the presence of the king. And when Haman went home, his wife told him, Mordecai will be the end of you. So, next time we'll see whether the Jewish people were all going to be saved. But in this story, we've heard how God saved Mordecai without even doing anything. Remember, Haman wanted to kill Mordecai, but that very night the king couldn't sleep. And he was reminded about how Mordecai had saved his life. So children, from this lesson, we also learn that it is important for us to be brave. Esther was brave. She went before the king, even though she was scared. And even though she was trembling, she fought through her frightenedness. She fought through being scared and she was brave. And she went before the king, knowing that she could be killed. She still went before the king. So next time we'll see what happens in our story. But for now, it's time for us to sing our song. So everyone stand up and help us sing this song. Okay kids, it's time to sing our song. Now we've just learned about how Esther was very brave and she went before the king. Even though she knew that she might die or be killed, she still went before the king and God saved her and protected her. And we also learned about how God saved and protected Mordecai because Haman had planned to hang him. And before Haman could even ask the king to give him permission, God saved Mordecai and Mordecai was rewarded instead of being killed. So now everyone stand up and help us sing this song about how we should always trust God when we're worried or scared because we can always trust God. So everyone stand up and help us sing this song. When I feel worried, when I feel scared, I can trust God. I know He loves me, I know He cares, I can trust God. When I feel worried, when I feel scared, I can trust God. I know He I know he cares, I can trust God When things are good and when they're not No matter what, I can trust God I trust in you, Lord I trust in you, Lord I say Okay, so for this lesson, we've just learned about how Esther, the queen, was very, very brave. She went to the king, even though she knew if you go to the king without being invited, you can be killed. She still went to the king because it is what will help save her people. We also learned how Mordecai's life was saved because God loves because God saves the people, his people. 
So to remember this story and to remember this lesson, we are going to create for ourselves our badge because we learned that just like Esther, we need to be brave. So we're going to make a badge and you can find a pin and hang it on your chest or you can hang it in your room. So whenever you look at it, it will remind you that you should always be brave just like Esther was brave and know that God is behind you. Okay, so for this, we have pieces of manila paper that we've cut into three circles and then we also have these long pieces here that we've cut into two strips. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write where our scripture comes, where our story is from in this book. So we'll take our pen and our story today comes from the book of Esther chapter 5 and 6. That's where you find the story of how Esther was very, very brave. So, on your pieces of paper, I need you to cross them and measure. And at the center, I want you to put your circles because this is where our badge is going to be. So around that, I want you to write where our memory verse is from. So I'm going to write Esther chapter 5 and chapter six. I'm also going to write that on every other side. So whenever you look at this badge of yours, you'll remember this story comes from the book of Esther, chapter five and six. Okay, so after we've written that down, the next thing we need to write down is to always be brave. That we always need to be brave. So, um, on your biggest circle, the purple one, I want you to write down the word brave in capital letters. And I'm going to write it at the edge because I want to, when I arrange my badge, I want to give it a design. So. I'm going to write brave right here. So whenever I look at this badge, I'll remember that I need to be brave. So in big capital letters, write brave. Okay. Now, the only thing left to do is to staple all of these pieces together. So, I want you to arrange all of these pieces carefully, how you want them to look when you put on your badge. And then just as carefully, I want you to pick them up and staple the pieces together. Okay, so now whenever I look at this badge, I can put it on, I can hang it in my room, but whenever I look at it, it will remind me to always be brave, just like Esther. So this is our craft for today, and that has been our story for today. We'll see you next time, okay? Bye!